Did you see that Space Marine 2 gameplay trailer? Did you see it? You're looking at it right now. You're seeing it right now. How sick does that look? Space Marine 2, the sequel to the original Space Marine, developed by Focus Entertainment, is everything I love about Warhammer in one ironclad package. In this third person hack and slash shooter set in the Warhammer 40k universe, you take on the role of an Astartes, a Space Marine, the Emperor's finest, an Ultramarine, Lieutenant Titus, battling for the future of the Imperium against Xenos Scum, the relentless Tyranids. And yes, I'm gonna keep this voice the entire time and I don't care what you Yes, as Lieutenant Titus and a Space Marine, you get access to all the devastating Astartes weapons you could muster, with some apparent arcane abilities too. When we look a little deeper at the gameplay in this showcase, we can pick out a few little more interesting things. Notably, it looks like every weapon that you get in the game kind of has its own little power-up and combination of moves, which is very cool to see. Everything from the chainsaw to the bolter, to the power sword to the warhammer. Everything seems to offer a unique, distinct approach to battle. And potentially the difference between light and heavy move options. Maybe nothing too complicated, but it's definitely there for a good time in gameplay. Personally, knowing that the original Space Marine leaned a little bit more into the hack and slash of things, it is cool to see that this version of the game focuses a bit more on the shooting side of things, which is what I like. Specifically the bolt gun. Speaking of bolt gun, remember there's a boomer shooter coming out called bolt gun? Yeah, we're gonna talk about that eventually. There's a lot to love here, and I know the gameplay release trailer doesn't really show us too much about the mechanics on the back end, any kind of customization options or abilities or combos that we could probably get into, but I'm hopeful. It does look really good. Saying that, I don't want to just have button mashing. I don't want to just sit here and smash on a keyboard or a controller. I want to see a little bit more skill-based fighting in battles. Not just scratch, 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 and then we see what happens at the end. There's just blood, pools of viscera and gore. No, it needs to be a bit more elegant than that. At least I hope it will. Speaking of looking good, this entire game looks gorgeous. Now, the first Space Marine, to me anyway, felt very mucky and muddy. The environments didn't really catch me so much. They felt like something from the PlayStation 2 era. And I suppose it was fun for what they were going for, but it didn't grab me. In this one, however, you are shook with stunning visuals and gore to match. And I'm really sure that this level of detail is going to add to the immersion. So that's very exciting for me as a Warhammer fan. It does speak to the level of quality that Focus and Saber are trying to go for here. When we take a step back though, nothing really speaks to the story of this game. And I know this kind of game isn't really there for its narrative. But Warhammer is known for its lore and its narrative. And here we are once again, Lieutenant Titus, Gilliman's finest. And um, that's all I know, uh, basically. There's nothing more to it than that. I guess we're here to save the day from the Xeno scum. All in all, it's very pleasing to see what Space Marine 2 has to offer. I don't want to have high expectations just just yet. I mean, the first one was okay, but it wasn't groundbreaking. I don't expect this one will be either. I do, though, expect a good quality game compared to the first one. It is 2022 after. But Space Marine 2 does look like it's working to establish a benchmark in the third-person hack-and-slash shooter sub-basement. <coughs> I mean, genre. Fucking hell. I'm so over all these sub-genres and micro-genres, and it, it is what it is, but... You know what I'm saying, it's all over there. I am also happy to see that there is a great balance of environmental storytelling, world building, all those fun things bled into all the guts <laughs> that we're about to strew all over the place. It's very cool to see in this game. I'm very excited. I uh, hope to pick it up and review it on full release. It is dropping next year on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Or at least that is the current date, but who knows with these things. But in the 41st millennium, there is only war. So. Steal yourself, brothers, for the long night is coming. The warp is unsettled, and the tyranid scum must be vanquished from this world forevermore. We are the Emperor's chosen, his will made manifest. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Big shout out to all my patrons. You guys rocks as my boxes. Check out the secret link in the description or any of my videos on your screen now. Until next time, everybody, please take care. Rip and tear. Cheers.